my presentation is called Social Media for Humans or whatever. Um, it is based off of a, a presentation I do for teachers called Social Media for Teachers and without the whatever. Um, but uh, we're gonna just talk about social media and kind of see what we come up with today. Um, my name is AJ, as, I, as we mentioned. Um, I teach social media, I am not a millennial. Um, I wanna make that clear. Um, some people call us part of the Oregon Trail generation. We had to figure things out. Um, teaching students, you realize how much technology has kind of uh, been part of their lives and they never had to figure it out, they just did it. So um, I'm special. Uh, we could all agree that the internet is terrible. Uh, it's a bunch of racists, men's rights activists, uh, makes people antisocial, it has predators of all types except for the cool one from that movie Predator. Um, it has lots of hate, trolls, lack of privacy, hackers, NSA, lots of stuff I don't understand, like half of Reddit and all of 4chan sucks, um, Donald Trump, all that kind of cool stuff. But we could also agree that the internet is amazing. It has email, instant communication, vast collections of data and knowledge, that dog face filter on Snapchat that's so cute, uh, global collaboration, videos of people getting hit in the nads, Pokemon Go, Chocolate Rain, Think Leaders, new revenue streams, jobs, 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 social media and the social networking, and convenience. So the internet is everything, right? Uh, but what we do need to realize is that social network is a system for communication. Like that's the whole point of it, is to talk to somebody else. It's not about uh, posting pictures, it's not about um, Farmville, that's for old people, but um, it's all about talking to people, sorry. Uh, it's all about communicating and being connected to people, which kind of seems the opposite of what we usually think of the internet. Uh, what's the difference between social networks and social media? Is The media is what you produce for a social network. A social network is a place, the media is the communication, okay? Um, let's talk about Facebook versus Snapchat a.k.a. grandmas versus teens. Uh, there's an old guy up there liking everything, commenting on your posts that you didn't really realize you were friends with him still. Um, but the point is, is that users are more important than the features. Kid, uh, teens like Snapchat because their parents aren't there. The parents like Facebook because they feel like they're doing something cool. Um, social networks and social media, again, is communication. That's basically it. Um, my kind of goal for you guys is try to be authentic about it and don't be a jerk. Um, which is kind of hard to do, but um, so what is uh, being authentic? Oh, here we go. Uh, the Exploding Whale, sorry. Um, the Exploding Whale, uh, that was the first video I've ever saw on the internet. Uh, it's basically a town got a whale on their beach and they didn't know what to do with it, so they blew it up and then it was terrible. Uh, that was a, the first video that I ever experienced on the internet. Uh, it was amazing. Uh, it's been viewed 350 million times, okay? That's a lot, that's like uh, Gangnam Style. But this guy right here, this is Jukin Media. This is uh, Jonathan Scomo. Every single video that you've ever seen on Facebook, yes, pops up and you're like, oh, that cat is so cute, or oh, that cat killed that person. Uh, this guy curated. This guy is curating your videos now. So there's no such thing as viral videos, there's videos that Jukin Media has uh, decided they wanted you to see and they monetize in some way. So. Yeah, the internet sucks. Anyway, social media for humans or whatever's rules for social media for humans or whatever. One, be authentic. Two, be connected. Three, be engaged. Four, don't be dumb. The problem with authenticity. So what's the problem with that? It's hard because authentic, being authentic is sometimes messy, hard to find, and or finding authenticity is hard to find and rough around the edges. Uh, you'd never believe number seven on the top ten list of ways to be authentic, inauthentic. Click here now to learn about how the social media manager for the first famous person does it. Wow. Okay, sorry. Um, the problem with being connected. Having friends is annoying. I hate it. People are annoying. The worst. Being friends with your parents on Facebook is also the worst. Other people's opinions are usually dumb. So, but the good thing about being connected is that you meet new people, find collaborators, and are able to connect with people you no normally never connect with. Um, Pokemon Go, we all love that, yay. Uh, Pokemon Go is amazing, old people hate it because it's different. Um, if you ever went on EdHat when people are talking about Pokemon Go, is a bunch of old people sitting and writing comments about how terrible it is that kids are going outside and playing with each other. It was awesome. Uh, it's all about, uh, yeah. Anyways, the problem with being engaged, uh, it's a lot of hard work and effort. It means trying new things. It's so much more fun to complain about the new Facebook newsfeed or Instagram logo or whatever and say I'm done, I'm never coming back and this is ruined and never actually leave. So 
be engaged. That is trying new things, being open to Pokemon Go. The problem with being dumb, knee-jerk reactions are tiring. It's difficult to be ignorant with so much stuff when there's so many ways to access it. Uh, new technology and media is really cool, so being dumb is dumb. Um, that's the Oregon Trail up there, by the way. Someone got dysentery. All right, uh, here's a slide from my social media for educators slideshow. How can teachers use social media? Can Insta Instagram disrupt the classroom? How can you hack Twitter to educate the future? You can't, you probably shouldn't, and you don't need to. These, these things are here for us to, again, communicate with each other. It's not meant to change anything. It's just a furthering of communication that we've done for centuries and eons and eons or whatever. Learning about the internet is hella constant. The constant is it's always changing. The internet is also no longer capitalized. It is now the internet with a lowercase i. As a teacher, I have to redo my social media curriculum every single year, and that's annoying. A book about social media is probably wrong. Um, the internet and social media constants for learning. Here's some rules uh, or things, whatever. How to access valuable information, how to collaborate, how to control and create a presence, how not to be dumb or whatever, and how to create valuable information. So if you want to use social media for stuff, do those things. Uh, here's a slide from my first presentation I ever did here in 2012. Nothing is static anymore. It's a modern proverb. Um, so yeah, books are dumb. <laughs>